All right, so I'm going to show you something about these DC uh, brushless DC fan motors. So these two are out of a Dakin. Um, they look the exact same out of any brand. That's a bigger one out of a ducted unit. That's a smaller one out of like a ductless mini split. But they look the same, just different size. Put the heavy one down. So that's what they look like. We've all seen them heaps. They've got five cables. So firstly, I'll just explain to you exactly how these work. So like I said, it's a DC fan motor. So in the back, they have like an actual printed circuit board inside the fan motor. So you can like open that and get access to like the bearings and stuff. But you can't actually get access to the PC board. It's all like molded. Some brands you can. Um, I came across a Panasonic one the other day. And I just took the back off and you can see like the back of the board. Definitely not designed to be opened. So you've got to be careful. But you can on some of them access the actual PC board. So anyway. I'll explain um, what each cable does. So basically one of the cables is supplying 320 volts DC so it's pretty high voltage to spin the fan motor to actually spin the thing another cable is just the common for that circuit so the negative side of that circuit another cable it's just supplying 15 volts DC just to power up the logic like the printed circuit board so you have two different power supplies both DC one low voltage one high voltage both using the same common so that's um the three cables 320 volts DC 15 volts DC and the common the other two cables are just um these give feedback to the printed circuit board in the outdoor unit so the outdoor unit knows if it's going slow or fast or whatever and the unit because they're inverter it can tell it to like spin slower faster whatever and the other cable is just how it does that it just tells the unit how fast to, to spin it so it's like think of it like you have feedback one cable the speed controller another cable the two power supplies and a common so that's what the five cables do so when you come to like an error on a unit any brand let's just say it's a Dakin E5 error that an E5 error means it's a fan motor error so it's either the fan motor or the printed circuit board so you can just go to the board and say yep with your multimeter test it yeah it's got 320 volts supplying out of the board got 15 volts supplying out of the board sweet as it's not the board um but you might the, the hard thing is you have a fan motor that literally spins everything looks good and you don't know if it works um so like if it's an e5 error you can just test the board and you know if it's the board that's faulty or not but sometimes you go to a unit that's and like any brand the board has just got a fault of some sort and the outdoor printed circuit board isn't working you don't know if it's damaged the printed circuit board in here you just don't know so it's not as easy as just going to the board and seeing if it's got voltage it's a bit of a mystery so a lot of fan uh, sorry a lot of manufacturers say if you're replacing like the outdoor print circuit board just spend the extra money and just replace the fan motors just to be safe the, the problem with that is like they're not heaps expensive probably like 150 dollars or something and that's not including it getting shipped to you it's not including gst we call it in australia like the taxes it's not including the labor to install it like it's it'd just be good to test the fan motor and on old school air conditioners you just have an active and neutral and a capacitor these things like you, you can't even get access to the board it's, it's hard to test so for that reason for me 
I just made my own tester. I'll show you it, but I just want to quickly say this is not an ad. I'm not trying to sell you this. This is not for sale. So, yeah, just, it's not an ad. It's just something that I find useful and I just want to show you because you might find useful. So it's a fan motor tester. Something that I made. Um, so that's what it looks like. Basically, it's got plug base. It's got a fuse. It's got other safety mechanisms inside. For example, a varista. So if it, there's like a power surge, you know, it's safe. But it's got a glass fuse. This thing draws very low amps. Um, it's got on-off switch. When it's plugged in, and I'll show you in a sec, you can just control the speed. It's got, if that red light's on, it just means that the circuit's got voltage. Um, and that is just so you know that the fan is indeed giving you some feedback or giving the air conditioner feedback. So the faster it is, the faster that'll blink, which I'll show you in a sec. And then I just got a sticker on the front that just tells me what each cable does. So I've just got these cables the exact same as a Dakin because let's face it, I work on them a lot, but um, you can use it on any brand. You just need to know what each cable, what, what color it does. So I've just written down here just for reference. So when I'm out on the field, I just find out what the cable does for that brand and I just, I just know which one to plug it into. And I just plug it into the little like plug. So anyway, that's what it looks like. It's just a random little tester. And if enough people even care about it, then I can just show you how to make it if you want, whatever. Anyway, so basically, like for example, this has got a plug. So I'll just plug that one into red to red straight into the plug blue to blue brown to brown so I've just done this enough that I know what each cable does but some people don't and that's fine just follow the sticker on the front or write it down or whatever orange to orange white to white so this just saves me money, like, to make this cost nothing, you know, like, whatever, not, not much money, <laughs> like, and then, um, like, like, probably a quarter of what it costs for a fan motor, or half of what it costs for a fan motor. So this thing's paid for itself a million times over. But anyway, so, I've just plugged it in. And I'll plug it in, turn it on, and show you how it works. Alright, so I have just put this in the vise. I've just put that tape on just so you can see it spinning. So, basically, like I said, it's there, so I'll just turn it on. So, that is flickering. And that is moving. So, speed it up, so I'll just show you this, like, it's going really fast, going slow, or I can just stop it, so I can speed it up, slow, so what I'm doing is just, so that's like flickering really fast, that's so going slow. Fast, slow, trying to get it all in one shot, it's absolutely pumping, or slow, so yeah, basically it's just, now I know that that works, and you know, you can still use it, you don't, the customer doesn't need to get a new fan, it's pretty cool. And yeah, so the red one is just, we know if it's got a fault, 
the red light will come on. So basically I made that red because red generally means bad. And that just means that the fuse doesn't have a circuit. Very sweet. So green is good. And that's just the fan giving a um, feedback. And the red is bad. Pretty sweet. Anyway, so I'll turn that off. Let me put this on the tripod and show you. I'll change it over in like real time. Alright, so. That's off. So, the one, the reason why I would never make this to sell is just because, like, this is high voltage. Like, so even though I've turned the power off, there's no voltage here anymore. But there still will be, for a short period of time, a, just a little bit of a, a little bit of voltage just from the capacitors. So, like, you know, it's just not designed for people that don't know what they're doing. But, like, if you're in air contact, you know what the, what the go is. And that capacitor will discharge, obviously, but, um, anyway, let's put this one over here. So, it's like working on any air conditioner, it's the exact same. Put that one over there. Let's get the big dog in here. Add it in. Um, all right, so it's the same deal. So we'll go white first, orange, uh, brown, which is the fifteen volts. Common. So white, orange, brown, blue, red, red, white, orange, brown, blue, red. So we'll turn that on. Oh fuck, turn that on, so this one absolutely pumps because it's for a ducted, I don't know if you can see that, ripping and tearing, so these things still work. Anyway, this is just something that I've made to help me test these things out on the field. So, it's pretty simple. Green, just give them feedback. And if you ramp it up, it just gets so fast that it's almost like a constant blink. Or you can go... Slow it right down so it stops. Like, look how slow that's going. Or you can just slow it completely. So I've actually made two of these. The first one um, I made just with a lead coming out. Just to see if this worked. And then when I, it worked, I was made a neater one. And on the first one, I made it so when it had power, when this was powered up, that would show, um, like that would be red, illuminated. Um, but then I'm like, you don't really need to know if it's, because 
it's it's gonna you, you know anyway like if you plug it in power and you turn it on so I'm like on this one I made it different so the red light comes on when you um, when it blows a fuse Sweet. <laughs> 